Okay, I have the Illinois Duo. It is a 12 wafer wafer lock. 12? 14, 14 wafer wafer lock. It has uh, a key like this. It's triple bitted. So what that means is um, it has five wafers that interact along the top bidding here, it has five that interact along the bottom bidding here, and then it has another four that interact along the side bidding here. This key is not a good example. I should write out another key. Um, it's got three that are the same height and then this one lower one, so that could have different cuts in there. From a picking, picking perspective, that doesn't matter too much because um, we're going to be picking based on how the, um, the wafers feel rather than whatever the bidding is on the key. So we're going to be looking for um, that. It's a little bit weird in here um, because if I put it in the normal way, then this uh, actuator gets blocked by the vise, or I have to set it really deep in there, which makes it hard to get the tensioner in. So if I put that in there, you can see it would normally rotate a full 90 degrees, but it gets blocked by the vise. When we pick it, we'll probably take it out and show the full rotation. Uh, it's locked right there. So we'll go ahead and get a uh, tensioner on here and start. So I'm told that if we pick the four on the side first, we'll get a little false set, and that'll make it um, so that the top and bottom wafers can't be overset. So let's go for that. Um, the first one on the side bar here, binding, or no, it actually is loose. Go for the second one. Also seems a bit loose. Third one, loose. Fourth one, I think the fourth one's binding. Or I'm not on it, one or the other. Oh, I don't know, I can't, oh, okay. Is that me slipping off of it? I think it's me slipping off. And pick's a little stuck. All right, check the front again. First one, loose. Second one, loose. Third one is way up. I might take a different pick. Let's see. This one looks like a little bit high here. And into the back. having a hard time feeling one back here. Oh, there we got to click out of the back one. And it looked like a little bit of rotation on the um, on the plug. I'm going to check the front one again. Front one is, was springy. OK, a little click from it. Now it feels springy, the first uh, pin on the side. Second one is binding now. Click from it, and it is springy. Okay, so now we're now we're rolling. Third one, got to click out of that. But I fell off of it. I can't find it again. Going back. This is the only one here that doesn't seem to want to go down. Alright, um, not too satisfied there, but let's go ahead and just try some top ones just to feel what they're like. First one that I can see, this guy here, is going up. Sounds like something dropped in there. I gotta click on the front and now that one's uh, jiggly. Second one is already springy. Third one, click from it, springy. Fourth one. Don't know if that's the slider or not, uh, the wafer or not, because it doesn't want to go up at all. I think this is the fifth one here. Click from it, springy. Let's go back to that fourth feeling one again. I think that was just me sliding off, sliding off. All right, I'm gonna leave that one alone because it doesn't seem to want to move. I'm going to check the side again just real quick, just to see if I feel anything here. Springy. I think that's the first one that was springy. That one's springy. I think that's the second one. 
think that's the third one springy there. I think that's the fourth one springy there. So I think all four of the sides are set. Let's go check the bottom here. Uh, I might flip the top tension to tension to this. I can't even speak. The top tension to do this. So I have something to leverage off of maybe. This first one here. I don't know, maybe I should start from the back. The first one's going down slowly. I don't know if that was me slipping off the leverage point or if it went down. I'm gonna check it with a, try to push on it, see if I feel it. Yeah, it's springing now. So that's the first one. I'm gonna go to the back, I'll start at the back. Uh, first one in the back, so that's pin five on the bottom. I can't push it, uh, so I'm going to put a tensioner. This is a little bit backwards, but it'll work okay, I think. Yep, a little tension like that. And push here. That'll give me something to lever off of. Go to the back again. Uh, number. Feels like these need a fairly decent amount of pressure to set them. Number five feels springy already. Number four feels binding. I don't know what dropped. I can't push number four, it's too hard. Three. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna try pushing by hand. One, springy. Two, I, got, I think I got it down some. Yeah, these things are very hard to move. They're like, I don't know if it's because the lock is old and crusty or. All right, I got number four to move and it's now springy. Three, it's very hard to move. Okay, I got it down, but it doesn't seem to be springy. I'm worried that that's maybe overset. Oh no, I'm wrong, it is springy. Springy meaning set and jiggling. Uh, that's one, so I missed something. Okay, one is jiggling, two is jiggling. This must be three here. Can't get it down. Three is, I think, jiggling. Four. Now jiggling, and where's five? Is this five? Five must have gone back up again. I clicked there, but now I'm kind of stuck for some reason. To get back there again. No, I can't use my eyes and actually look in here now. Okay, five springy, four springy, three springy, two springy, one springy. Top. The top, I'm going to switch back to this bottom tensioner. I might check the sidebar first, just to make sure, you know, you never know and if I lost any of those. I don't think you do, because they said that that's kind of a false set. All right, one springy, two springy, three springy, four springy. So I think all the sidebar is fine. I'm going to check the top. First guy, springy, second springy, I think that's the third. I think that's the fourth. Or maybe that. All right, five, four, three, two, one. So it feels like everything is picked. Just gotta figure out why this guy isn't opening at this point. Is something overset a little? One, two, little click before it moved again. Three. Not too satisfied with four, I'll come back to that. Oh, it was five. Five feels good. Five. Is it four? Again. 
maybe it was four now maybe five is binding and we're open okay so four so five was springy because it wasn't binding yet i set four and then i went back to five and i set five so we're finally open so that took a, a bit of effort i don't know if it's because the age of the lock or what's going on but you see we're open i'm gonna actually take it out so that we can um get some autofocus on here there we go and you can see that or how do you hold this to open oh i have to hold the outer you can see that that moves along there All right so that's open no yeah it's a uh, key retaining so it doesn't lock like doesn't drop all the wafers when you get over to the 90 degree only when you get all the way back it's locked back up and we can go back to our key so that's the 14 wafer illinois duo lock unfortunately i can't gut it in this format um but there are other there are other um videos out there i don't do wafer locks so it's a little bit tricky for me but um hopefully you enjoyed that thanks illinois duo bye